Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for October 1st, 2018. The character is the Ironclad and the modifiers are Insanity, start with a random deck of 50 cards. Time Dilation, all enemies start with a slow debuff. And Night Terror, so your rest, uh, resting at rest side heals 100% of your HP but costs 5 max HP. Let's get started. So none of the new modifiers uh, here today, but... Let's see, I see a two elite path only on the right. The left doesn't have two elites. And then here we have a good amount of question marks, especially if we go this way. Fortunately, that way we'll also hit the first elite before really having good opportunity to gain some cards, but... Oh, right, and then we should look what the Insanity deck has. Um, all right, so we should also try to get the um, Collector modifier by having more than four of the same card. I see two internal blades. Two Blood for Bloods, which is probably not super great. I saw two Flexes. I don't think so. I see a Perfected Strike, but I don't think we have enough strikes for it to be powerful. Well, we have two Wild Strikes. Uh, one Twin Strike. Three Wild Strikes, actually. Um, yeah, I don't think that's really enough to make it a sort of uh, Perfected Strike deck. But uh, we can kill one of you. Um, oh, we have Corruption, which is actually going to be great. Um, all right, let's kill you. And then we can damage you. All right. Okay, the Perfected Strike actually does 16. Uh, which is... Yeah, I'm not sure if we should pick up more Strike cards. Uh, huh. <laughs> Speaking of... Well, it's going to be, so, 16 plus 2, right? So it's going to be 18 damage uh, with 2 energy, which is not that bad. Thunderclap might be a little better. But, actually, let's let's think about the Collector's modifier. So let's get the uh, Perfected Strike. All right, here... Um, I think just Cleave and Perfected Strike, that's probably going to do a lot of damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, here we can do uh, Wild Strike. It's actually going to be really useful since it's got... Actually, never mind. It's putting the draw and the wound into our draw pile, not our discard pile. Uh, and then we can just kill. All right. Oh, I didn't see. Do we have any um, uh, any cards that... Uh, well, mostly feed. Do we have a feed? I didn't see one. All right, so maybe that's something we want to pick up. I right, got Attack Potion as well as another Heavy Blade. Oh, we should also worry about the defense. That might be an issue with... I don't. I didn't see too many defensive cards. We got a second wind there. Definitely have the Corruption. The Entrench, which is useless without other... Um, actually, we have two Entrenches. They're useless without other defensive cards. We have Flame Barrier. Pretty much it, right? In terms of defense. Okay, I think we have to take um, defensive cards. So I'll take the... Well, actually, none of these are defensive. <laughs> I don't know why I had that rant there. All right, Heavy Blade it is. And see what the question marks have. Upgrade two random cards, sure. Um, transform a card. Yeah, I think we can transform a card. Removing doesn't make sense. And we definitely don't need two entrenches if we barely have any source of defense uh, Defense in this build. Um, I'm just trying to check if there's nothing else that we might want to transform instead. Yeah, I think we definitely don't need two entrenches. Let's, let's transform one of them. Got an uppercut. All right, not bad. We got Ancient T-Set. Whenever you enter Rest Side, start the next combat with two extra energy. Um, all right, and let's try the first Elite. <clears throat> all right, so the Elite doesn't have... These Elites don't have the uh, slow debuff. Um, is there a way we can defend here? Or kill, alternatively. We can do Flex, which will do 20 damage here. 10 damage here, that's 30. Um... Let's do... Actually, let's keep it to last. So I think we'll have to... If we want to... Actually, let's see what the attack potion gives us. A Reaper. Perfected Strike. That might be better. No, that'll only do 20 damage to as much as the um, Heavy Blade. I think we'll do Reaper. That'll be a nice AoE card. 10 plus 12 is 22. Yes. So then we can do... So we can Cleave and Reaper. So that way we'll heal full. And then we can also... Ooh, that wasn't good. I was hoping to use the uh, Fire Potion with something else, but yeah, let's just do Heavy Blade and Fire Potion. We we're still perfecting, but next turn is going to be really tough unless we get something really good. We have 18 incoming and, yeah, only 12 defense. Unless we kill somebody. Which we actually can't, because we can only play the Sword Boomerang. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's mostly unfortunate that if I had known that we wouldn't be able to perfect, I wouldn't have played both of um, the potions I had. But it's fine. No, no big deal. Uh, we can do... What can we do here? Um, yeah, I think let's Wild Strike and Fiendfire. And I probably should have switched the order around, but um, a Wild Strike will kill. All right. We got Strawberry, open pick up, raise your max HP by seven. Um, yeah, speaking of uh, defense armaments, might be nice, and then we can upgrade that too. Yeah, let's take it. Ruggedoff was another defensive card, but I think armaments might be useful since it has that uh, ability to, um, to upgrade other cards. Um, here, I think we can do... Uh, Rampage and Anger to kill. Oh, it killed, right. Thanks to the slow debuff. Totally forgot about that. So we can do Heavy Blade and Anger. Alright. Got Weak Potion and, um, yeah, Impervious might be the defensive card we need. Let's upgrade the armaments. And then we have to go on the right to add more question marks. You've got Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power, a random card in your hand costs 0 for the turn. That is handy. I think we have a couple powers. Okay. Yep. Corruption is one of them. I think we'll play it, right? Um, well, we can't defend anyway, so let's do it. Uh, it made the Juggernaut cost 0, which makes the Blood for Blood cost 0, which is great. Um, actually, if we duplicate the Blood for Blood, will it still cost 0? It does. Great. All right, perfect. We killed. Um, all right, here another up, uh, armaments. Yep, and we'll update that as soon as we can. Um, sh yeah, relics. Uh, sorry, uh, curses are great since we have such a thick deck. Chances of us drawing one is actually very low. And we got preserved insects. Uh, enemies in elite rooms have twenty-five percent less HP. That's actually a great relic, especially since we are planning to hunt elites as much as possible. Uh, all right, so twenty-two. If we play the barricade, it'll make one other card cost zero, and we can play the clash, because right now we can't. Uh, let's do it. Alright, so that's 15, that's another 16. Okay, I think that was worth it. Um, here, let's do the impervious, since we have the barricade active. Uh, actually, might as well upgrade it. Yep, let's armaments, the impervious, and then play it. Actually, I just realized I could have killed with the fiendfire. Yeah, I just delayed that unnecessarily. Alright. Um, another armaments, sure. Um, enemy or gold. We actually have tons of gold. Let's use it. All right. Mango is great. Perfected strike is good. Flex is good. We don't really need card removal. Um, well, we can't. If we take mango, we can't afford anything else. So let's do a perfected strike, a flex, and a heavy blade. Um, let's also take a block potion that might help with the um, upcoming elite. And um, I'm also thinking maybe an attack potion. We have the gold. Who's our final boss? It's a ghost. Okay, so we have a weakness potion for him. Let's do attack potion. All right. Okay. So right off the bat, we can start off with a 32 damage. All right. So we have 14 incoming. Um, it's a 22. That's not enough. So corruption upgrades to be two co two uh, energy, right? So let's armaments. This is a little risky, but uh, we can havoc. All right, that that was a close line, and then we can leave for 15 perfect that was right right as much as we needed we got smiling mask the merchant's card removal curse service now always costs 50 gold you're probably gonna pretty much never use um now ghostly armor is actually no let's do power through yeah i think power through is probably better it's a tiny bit more uh defense and then um yeah is there anything we desperately need to um smith I think I was smithing the corruption. Eh, not really. We don't have to smith them. Oh, uh, the armaments. Right, right, right. Thought we didn't have. Uh, we had them already upgraded, but we don't. All right. Let's see how this will go. Um. 
Well, uh, let's see if we draw anything useful. Let's get rid of the um, mod structure. All right, we got it in Purvis, unfortunately, too early. That's actually really sad because um, if we had drawn it, if we didn't exhaust and draw it on the next turn, we would have been doing a little better then. Uh, let's do Perfected Strike and Close Line. Hmm. All right, we have, we have 36 incoming. There's nothing you can do about that, right? Yep, nothing can do. Alright, um, I'll play this, which makes this cost zero. We can do Twin Strike, Blood for Blood. But ultimately, if we defend... I mean, we should defend, since it's still going to help us out a little bit. We're going to drink the Attack Potion and do a... Um, yeah, Sour Soul, sure. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, if we... I think if I hadn't... Um, drawn cards, if I hadn't used the Burning Pact in the first turn, I would have gotten the Impervious and would have been fine, but such is life. Um, Alright, can we, we can double tap the close line, I guess. Hmm. Now that we're not perfecting, I mean, this deck is suffering heavily from um, lack of defense. So, for example, if we had perfected that, that turn, we wouldn't be able to perfect this turn. Um... So yeah, now I'm not too worried about our... Uh, actually, we can play Juggernaut to make a cost, card cost zero. Let's flex Juggernaut. That made the power through cost zero, which is fine. And then we can... Um, I think just armaments the Immolate. Play that, and then Anger. Immolate is actually a great card because it puts the burns in your discard pile. And since we have a huge discard pile, I think that's totally fine with us. I'm also going to... Um, well, let's Havoc... Um, then Infernal Blade. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna hope that the True Grit hits the Regret. Yes, perfect. Alright. Here we can, um, Armaments. Play Corruption. And then we can, um, Havoc. And do Second Wind for a little bit of defense. Hmm. And then, um, Blood for Blood... And Pummel Strike will kill. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't perfect this elite, but I think it was very difficult to do so. Uh, Dark Embrace would be great since we, if we play the Corruption, we'll be exhausting a lot of stuff. Uh, we don't really have strength in our deck yet, um, and we don't really need Juggernaut. Yeah, let's get Dark Embrace. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately the only way to get energy is to get the Ectoplasm. Gain energy as a start of each turn, you can no longer gain gold. Uh, none of the other cards are really useful though, or other relics. Black Blood is a very minor benefit. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with the energy. That's unfortunate because now we can't really tailor or use shops to tailor our collector's bonus, but um, I think we should be fine. Energy is more important at this point. Alright, uh, again, only a two elite path. Um, I think if we go on the left, we hit five, six question marks total. Seven, actually. On the right, we have way less, so we'll go on the left. We still need to find four more curses. All right. Okay. So, 15 incoming. We'll get one of you on the ground. Um, not really. Well... Uh, let's bring you on the ground first, so that's that, and then, uh, I think we'll just, well, I guess, yeah, we can play the, wait, how did that work? Oh, right, because I had extra energy. All right, we played the demon form, which made the true grid cost zero, uh, but unfortunately we have to play it, we can't play the clash first, so, yeah. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of damage. I could have used the weakness potion, I guess. Wait, is this? No, artifact. All right, uh, here we'll do, we have 10 incoming, uh, let's do cleave. And then Havoc. That's another Cleave. Great. And then we can actually put one of you on the ground by playing Uppercut. Um. Mm -hmm. Alright, still receiving five, but I think that's fine. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's do Flex. And then Twin Strike. Mm -hmm. So what Havoc gives us. Moments. Great, and then Perfected Strike can kill any of them. Who's dealing the most damage? This guy, right? 
Uh, yeah. All right. Taking some more damage here, but I think the weakness potion can probably be used at a better point. All right. Flex, wild strike, and then perfected strike. All right. Um, another wild strike? Sure. Actually, I'm going to look for... Uh, okay, we have Heavy Blade, Wild Strike, and Anger. I'm going to check which card we have how many of. Okay, so we actually already have four copies of Heavy Blade, so I, uh, and only three of Wild Strike, so I'm going to take these, and we won't have to take them any, ever again. Um, duplicate a card in your deck. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what do we want to duplicate? Actually, Fiendfire is really nice. Uh, no, no, Corruption. We definitely want to duplicate Corruption, because I think that's going to be really useful for us. Um, or an Impervious... Yeah, we have enough armaments, right? We have one, two, three. I thought I saw a fourth one. It will upgrade an arm armaments. No, I think we'll do the impervious. I think that's um, we need the defense. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so here we can do flex, and then uh, double tap the emulate. We could even take some HP and. Do a perfected strike. Yeah, sure, why not? Quicker death. Almost killed too. Actually, I wonder if I played the other order around. Played the bloodletting first. I might have killed him thanks to the slow debuff. Oh well. Alright. Got a regen potion as well as... Uh, okay, we have enough armaments, right? Let me check. Okay, yeah, I was checking the clashes too. We only have one clash, but let's take uh, the fourth armament. That way we have a collector's bonus for that as well. Remove all strikes, receive five bites. Uh, yeah, let's do it. We'll lose some max HP, but I think that's totally fine. Um, it'll also give us, by the way, another collector's bonus. Um, okay, here let's do um, power through, emulate, and uh, wild strike. All right, and then um, it could do corruption. Yeah, let's do it. And then um, since it's a power, it made the rampage cost zero. We can also exhaust the. Let's exhaust the entrench because we don't have defense. All right, and then we'll exhaust the clothline. Okay, we got second wind, which is not going to be useless for us. Useful for us, I mean. Um, let's still play it. All right. Still taking 14 damage, but I think that's fine. Uh, actually, I'm going to drink the regen potion since this fight is one of the few fights that might take a while. Uh, let's do Havoc. All right, that was a cleave. Very good. And then I think we can double tap a uh, Blood for Blood. All right, and then Pummel. Okay. So this guy, the Mystic, is constantly regenerating. Actually, can we kill? It's 28. No, we can't kill, but we can actually injure quite a bit. Um, now yeah, let's just do Cleave and Fiendfire. Okay. Since every time he's too low in HP, he's going to try to regenerate, so we actually have lots of time to um, get some of our HP back. I'm not going to kill him. Actually, I'm going to heal a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. Should have played the Barricade, actually. I'm not sure why I didn't. All right. Um, zero cost armaments. And then a Blood for Blood. We still have two turns. All right. I'll wait. I know this is one of the reasons, but we have only one more turn of healing, and then we should be fine. Actually, he's attacking us right now. Great. Um, can we kill him? 12 damage, 7, that's 19. Oh, wow, we can. We're actually going to take some damage. Well, let's weaken first, so that's 9. And then... Um, monster, actually, never mind, we can't kill. All right. We healed fully, thanks to that fight. Uh, we don't have... Actually, no, we have an uppercut. Iron Wave might be nice, but let's let's stick with the uppercut. That will hopefully give us a collection's modifier for that. All right now, this is going to be very hard to perfect. Nay, impossible. Yeah, I don't think there's a way we can perfect this. Um, well, let's drink the artifact potion because otherwise we'll get weakened. I think we'll do corruption, and then we can play cleave and clash, right? Okay. If we done whirlwind, I'll be twenty damage. That's not even close to being enough. So. All right, uh, and I'm going to throw the weakness potion just to avoid unnecessary damage here. All right, unfortunately, if we didn't get a some sort of... Actually, we don't need another corruption. It's kind of weird we got that. Um, there is a chance that if we play the Dark Embrace, it'll make the Bludgeon or the Demon Form cost zero. 
Oh, it made the bludgeon cost zero. Perfect. Uh, and then we can kill you and kill you. All right. And then we can armament for free. Oh, all right. It wasn't upgraded. Um, so let's do the blood for blood since we're going to play that. Uh, why are these cards costing zero? A little confused by that. Because the mummified hand, we didn't play a power yet, right? Ah, oh, weird. We can just kill. I got Vajra, start each combat with one strength, as well as a block potion, which is very handy. Handy, and then another wild strike. I think that'll be our fourth. We definitely don't need armaments anymore. Yep. And then... Let's go... Uh, we have to go left to hit more elite, or more question marks. Upgrade all strikes of defense or remove a card from your deck. I don't think we have any strikes in defense, right? And I don't really think we need to remove a card from our deck. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We just didn't do anything. Um, no, I don't want to waste my gold on potions, even if they're cheap. All right, we got Red Skull. If you're while your HP is at or below fifty percent, you have three additional uh, strength, which hopefully we won't get to that point where our HP is below that. Um, all right, let's Smith, Smith here. Oh, uh, the other armaments. There's still one on. Upgraded armaments. Mm -hmm. There are two. Wait, did I accidentally have now five in my deck? Let me go from uh, reverse. So there's one, two, three, four. No, I have four. Yeah, we're good. Hmm. Got war paint up and uh, pick up. Upgrade two random skills. All right, trigger it and burning pact. Not bad. <clears throat> All right, so unfortunately we can't take the blue candle. Just short of um. Just short of gold. Um. I'm not sure if I want any of these. The only the entrench is something we already have. Flash of Steel might be nice, but it's quite expensive. I think we'll hold off until um, maybe a potion for the elite fight. No, I think we'll hold off until um, until the next shop. Oh. All right. Wait, does this count as a rest site? It was a shop. That's kind of weird. I wonder if it's a bug. All right, uh, we have 10 incoming, so I think we can power through to fully defend. Uh, we can, well, let's first cleave. Actually, no, let's first armament the cleave. Yes. We can play everything, right? I'm not sure why I'm worrying about it. So we can do, um, let's heavy blade first to get rid of the um, was it plated armor and then cleave and then sword boomerang. All right, so if we play barricade, something else will cost zero, but if we play cleave, this guy will die, and this damage will go from 12 to being, I think, 18, right? We have a block potion, though. Uh, let's first burning pact, see what happens. Um, I'm going to get rid of this guy. All right, we got impervious. That's actually really good. Yeah, let's play impervious, and then we can cleave. Mm-hmm. Because then we can actually take 18 damage. Alright, we have 15 incoming. Another impervious. Actually, let's do corruption. That'll make the impervious cost zero. Also flex, infernal blade, searing blow, power through. I shouldn't have done the power through. That was unnecessary. Not not a huge harm, but still. Um, oof. So we have 12 incoming. First to Wild Strike, then Bite to heal a little bit. And then Pummel will do 12 damage. That's not enough. I'm going to play the Rupture. Oh, which made the Bludgeon cost zero. Great. All right. That was lucky. I forgot that it was a power. <clears throat> All right. Here, I think we'll take... We do have an Im Im Intimidate in our deck. Although, I haven't drawn... I don't think I drew it yet at all. Yeah, there it is. Um, should we take a second one? Clothesline might be better. No, let's take the Intimidate. Might might come in handy. All right. We do have a block potion, but uh, we can also use the explosive potion if we have to. So... Let's play... If we play Corruption, it might make the armaments cut zero, which we don't want. So I think instead we'll armaments the Corruption and play it, because now we'll make the Perfected Strike zero. All right, and then I think rather than... Dealing with these guys, I'll just throw the explosive potion and then do a 35 damage. 
Alright, he is summoning. Alright, so... Uh, well, we can definitely do... Let's play non-attack cards first. Actually, Juggernaut is not going to hit anything. Because nothing actually costs anything. But I think we'll just do... Um, we'll play Intimidate just to get the slow debuff going. And then we'll do... Anger, Reckless Charge, and then Whirlwind for 24 damage. Alright, we might actually perfect if we get some good attack cards this turn. Uh, let's see what Havoc gives us. Leaf, perfect. Infernal Blade gives us Body Slam. Um, Swarp Boomerang. Actually, I'm overthinking. We can just kill this way. Mm -hmm. Alright, perfected this Elite. <clears throat> we got Magic Flower. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. Very handy for us. Um, I don't think we have Pommel Strike and Battle Trends. I'll check how many Wild Strikes we have. Yeah, sorry, I already knew that we have... Actually, do we have five? Yeah, I just... <laughs> I realized we have five. All right, we definitely don't need any more. Uh, I think Battle Trends might be nice. We do have the energy and not many cards that allow us uh, or prohibit us from card drawing. All right, uh, do I want to rest? Yeah, we might have to rest. We'll lose five max HP, which is annoying. We'll risk it. Let's not rest. Um, it's risky, but I think it's worth it. Right, let's upgrade the next armaments. Yeah, I'm a little scared of the giant attack, so maybe we should get something like Demon Form going early if we can. Um, Alright, let's do... We can play everything, right? If we do the Juggernaut... Okay. Alright, hit the Bite. That's fine. Um, we can do Bloodletting... And then bite and whirlwind. Okay. All right, eighteen incoming. We can do power through, <clears throat> and we can actually pill a fiend fire. I think we should, so we'll do infernal blade. That's a bl bludgeon for free, and a fiend fire for, uh, yep, forty damage. Not bad. Not bad. Unfortunately, we're not perfecting, and I'd rather keep my block potion for when I'm about to die, so not much we can do there. Um, here, let's do armaments first. Then I think dual wield the blood for blood. Although then we can't play everything. Yeah, and still it's just close line and blood for blood. Okay. Now he's gonna purge, right? I think he purges when, when he's uh, below 50%, so maybe he's not purging just yet. I, I'll hope. Uh, let's exhaust. <clears throat> let's exhaust a. Uh, well, double tap is useful, right? Let's exhaust. Hmm, can't decide. Let's ex exhaust a cleave. All right. So flex. We can uh, double tap. So if we double tap, this will forty damage. This is fifty-seven, but then we can forty plus fifty. Actually, yeah, no, this is better. Hmm. All right. Now he's purging. Right. So it, it works only if it's below 50%. I'll play the Intimidate just to get the... Oh, to extend the weakness to next turn, actually. And then uh, we can play everything, right? So let's get the right order down. I don't think it matters too much, so we'll do this. This, and this, and this. Alright, so now we have a giant... Oof. Where do you get plus 10th strength from? Now this might be tough. Oh, right, because we're vulnerable too. We have the Impervious in our hand. That is amazing. So we'll do... Armaments first. Okay, we're actually getting close to being fully defended here. Um, well, no. We were never close to being fully defended, but actually if we drink the uh, block potion, we'll have 57 block in, in against the 60 attack, so not bad, not bad. Yeah, now we get the demon form. Way too late. Uh, let's play it. Yeah, I was hoping to start a chain like that. Hmm. All right. But every time we gain block, we'll deal 15 damage. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it's 15 right here. Um, actually, yeah, we can just do this and this. All right. All right, unfortunately, well, we survived, but we didn't perfect. That uh, would have been hard to. Now, feed is great because it'll give us max HP, but it's going to be very difficult to draw on the right time. Since we have a giant deck. I think I'll go with emulate instead. That'll also give us, help us with the collector's bonus for that. Um, no energy relic, uh, so I think instead we'll go with Astrolabe. No, uh, Black Star. Yep, additional relics might be nice. Oh, and of course we got the guy who's who doesn't like powers. 
I am afraid we might not hit five uh, curses. Uh, there are two elites over here. And wait, is that, are those the only elites? Yeah, they're the only elites that are right at the end. I'm not missing anybody, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll definitely hit, have to hit these two. And then to get there, we can hit the shop here and then have three question marks, right? Okay, um, flex, impervious, emulate. Um, here, I think we'll do... Obviously, they are exhausted, right? So actually, yeah, this will set one of the cards equal to zero, so that way we can play all of them. We're taking some damage here. Uh, but we can kill... This turn, all right? We got another Clash, another Havoc, or another Close Line. Let me check how many we have of each. All right, so we actually have two clothesline, two clashes. I think I'll go with the clothesline. Might be a little more useful since the clashes are basically invalidated if we have a curse or something else in our hand. Um, so flame bear might be nice here. Emulate might be good. Well, let's play flame bear first. That'll give us some defense and then emulate. We're oh. taking quite a bit of damage here. All right. Um, Okay, let's burning pact the we definitely want the power throw in our hand so let's bring back the clash actually all right so that's emulate 22 damage actually it'll kill the midliner so we can do this and then we can play the power through actually we can just cleave and kill i, I was way overthinking that all right um we don't have any of these so i think we'll go with the pommel strike that'll make the uh, perfect strikes a little stronger might be nice. Hmm. No, let's do Palm Strike. Also card draw. Alright, let's try to spend our gold here. Um, another Havoc uh, might be nice. It's relatively cheap. Another Uppercut might be nice. I don't think we play anywhere close to 5. Uh, getting 5 max HP for 100 gold might be worth it. Yeah, I don't think I'll take the Relic. So let's get Uppercut, Havoc, and then I'll take the Fruit Juice. All right, so now we're down to 20 gold. Can't really use it for anything. Um, yep. Um, I'll lose Rupture. We won't need it, but it's this power card. So basically, yeah, no, no, let's let's get rid of it. Oh, I misclicked. I think we're fine. Uh, travel to the boss. No, no, no. We wanna we wanna perfect some more elites. I drink the fruit juice. And then uh, I think we can um, flex and um, well, this will make something cost zero. No, let's just armaments. And uh, actually, now we can make this cost zero. Or let's just play it for, to get the collectors or um, slope debuff going. All right, so fifteen times three. That's not bad. Fortunately, we're gonna get the constricted uh, modifier here, so we're gonna take ten extra damage each turn. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Uh, 37. That's not enough. Um, Alright, let's do 18 and 37. Right, so taking quite a bit of damage here. Um, <clears throat> so 7 times 3, 21. Uh, let's have it first. I didn't see what it was. Must have been something to give us strength. Huh. Uh, and then... Yeah, I guess we'll just do Wild Strike and Swarp Rank for 33 damage, which is just shy. Oh, we actually... Whoa. Yeah, we're actually really close to death. We have to drink the Block Potion, otherwise we're dead. Wow, 1 HP. That's impressive. Uh, let's bite to heal a little bit, right? Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize we're in that bad of shape. That Blood Potion heal 10% of your max HP, so we're going to use that as soon as we can. Also going to take the fourth Havoc. Uh, actually, I think that's the third, because I just lost one in an event. We can't afford anything here. Hmm. We might have to rest at the next rest stop. It's unfortunate. If we even make it to there. I'm uh, a little disappointed here. Um, Let's do Infer Infernal Blade first. That's a drop kick. And then we only have attack cards, right? Except for the power through. So I think... Oh, never mind. I'll put wounds in our deck, right? 
Um, so what is that? 36 versus... Yeah, this is way more. Mm -hmm. Alright. Also drink this, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, here let's do... Uh, flex. Uppercut. So this will do 17 damage, or just that's 43. Yep, let's go with the 43. I think next turn we'll have a giant attack coming up. Um, let's armaments. Intimidate, so it's weakened for two turns at least. Oh, not too bad. 12 incoming. Uh, flex. Intimidate. Havoc. That's another armaments. And uh, we can do close line. 21 versus 15 plus weakness. Now let's do more weakness. Okay. Alright, armaments. Um, I think Juggernaut will make something cause zero, right? Alright, that's the impervious. A little unfortunate, actually. Alright, let's see. We have a lot of defense, but this is the turn when we needed it. Uh, we do have an impervious, so that's fine. I think let's do a um, Havoc first. That's corruption. That's great. That's really good. And it made the emulate cost zero. Okay, um, so let's do burning pack the juggernaut. I don't think we really need it. Mm -hmm. And then we can um, Im actually let's impervious first, then uh, wild strike, and then emulate. Mm -hmm. I should have played. Oh, where did the two energy come from? I should have played the other one too. Uh, all right, this will do eleven times four. Right? Actually, let's bite first. Mm -hmm. Then, all right. <clears throat> Another Havoc. I think that'll give us four. And then I am going this route just to be able to heal right before the lead. That'll really push our max HP low. At the Courier, the Merchant no longer runs out of cards or relics, and his potions and prices are reduced by 20%. <coughs> which is useless for us. Alright, let's... Um, armaments. Um, let me do Havoc. Also Cleave. And then I think Fiendfire. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, here we can... Let's battle trans first. Um, I'll do burning pact intimidate since it's gonna help. It's not gonna help us that much. <laughs> oh, right, we can draw. That was dumb. Alright, uh, let's play an impervious and then uh, sword boomerang and anger. Have done the other order, but that's fine. Okay, um, armaments, pommel strike. Uh, so we can bite and entrench, I guess. So gonna take some damage here. Actually, if we bite twice, I'll do. They'll um, make sure that we get less damage overall. Um, actually, wild strike will do even less damage. All right. Let's do bloodletting. <clears throat> so Juggernaut will make something cost zero, and we have enough energy for everything, so I think we're fine. Let's do close line, perfected strike, and pummel. Hmm. That was 90 damage this turn, that's not bad. <clears throat> this is the last turn, right? Tough. Alright. Um, let's do reckless charge first. Then he is weakened, so adding more weakness doesn't isn't necessarily needed. So let's do wild strike and heavy blade. Oh, good. We're just here. oh he still has eight. I didn't notice that. Oh well, got a steroid potion and um, beeper might come in handy. Let's do a clash though. Okay, I think we just have to rest here. I don't think I can take two elites without resting. <sighs> we did lose five HP though, max HP. I mean. Okay. Alright, uh, so armaments. Mm -hmm. Let's actually, we can do corruption first. Yep. Alright, havoc. That's a bite, great. Uh, reckless charge. Okay, let's do uppercut first. Mm -hmm. And then reckless charge. Alright. Yeah, there's no way we would have been able to perfect this one. 
We, if we didn't draw an, a defensive card in our first turn. Mm -hmm. Havoc again. That's a cleave. Great. And then blood for... Actually, let's bite first. Then blood for blood. And then flash. All right. Uh, we're almost back to full HP. We got all these oddly smooth stones. Starage combat with one dexterity as well as the potion belt. And a skill potion. And uh, shrug it off. I think now is the time for shrug it off. Towards the end. Um, yeah, let's shrug it off first. Okay. Armaments. That way the armaments would have hit whatever we, we drew. We're actually fully defended. So let's do another pommel strike. Mm-hmm. And then we only have attack cards. That's great. Uh, so we can do a uh, ramp. Actually, we should probably take care of the um, daggers. Okay, we can kill you. And we can get pretty close to killing you. Okay. All right. Um, so whirlwind would be good. Actually, we just need one or two energy whirlwind. Uh, let's first do... Demon form will make something cost zero, too. Let's do bloodletting. And then demon form. Mm -hmm. That made the uppercut cost zero. So the whirlwind we can do uppercut. 3, 6, 18. Hmm. One is too little, right? Okay, so let's do this. Let's try to avoid taking any damage. And then we'll do heavy blade and whirlwind. Alright, we have a lot incoming here, and not much we can do about that, right? Unless we can kill. If we do wield the emulate, no, that's not enough. Double tap emulate might be useful. Let's have it and see what we get. That was pummel, alright. Yeah, I think we have to um, emulate, if we do 29, 30, how much will this do? I'm going to drink this third potion, because then we can double tap, and then emulate... Yep, kills, just barely. Alright. Got an attack potion, as well as another shrug it off, yeah. Alright, next elite. 18 right off the bat. They're not giving me a break at all. Uh, let's do flex. Um, dark embrace to make something cost... Actually, no. Let's do bite first, wild strike first, and then dark embrace. Then we can play the perfect strike. And, alright, fine. Let's do an uppercut, sure. Should have done that first in retrospective, but, you know. Alright, so now we want to bite, but nothing else, pretty much. Um, let's bite. Let's burning pact one of the heavy blades out. Alright, uh, we can armaments. Making this cost zero. And play it to make the bite cost zero. Hmm. Alright, now we just have to do 37 damage. Uh, which we can, right? Yeah, uh, I'll do... Actually, I think... Yeah, we can double tap the bite. Oops. We heal back to full. And then perfect the strike for a kill. Alright. Wait, we didn't perfect the elite, right? That's Seraphimly Clay. Whenever you lose HP in combat, gain three blocks next turn, as well as Sundial. Uh, every three times you shuffle your drop out, gain energy, which is hilariously useless for us. Um, yeah, I forget. We definitely have five wall strikes, so I'll take another Havoc, especially since it's upgraded. Right here, we don't need to rest, um, and instead we'll upgrade. What do we want to upgrade? I think that we really need to upgrade. Let's upgrade the battle trans. Might draw us into something useful. All right, I'm gonna drink the ancient potion because I don't think we needed them. Uh, right off the bat, we can't defend against twenty unless we draw something amazing here. We did not. Um. Let's do the Infirm Blade. Let's see what it gives us. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll play this just to make something cause zero. Alright, that's a cleave. We'll play that towards the end. Um, so let's do... Reckless Charge, Searing Blow. We'll do a cleave. And then either 8 or 27, so we'll definitely do 27 damage here. Or 40, actually. Mm hmm Alright, um, here we'll do armaments. Um, we can do a... Well, we can bite you. Um, can't play both, right? 
Let's warp boomerang. I'll just play this. Taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure if we can make it. Uh, this will make something cost zero. Uh, let's try to see what it hits. Havoc, alright. It's a flex. Um, we can pommel strike to see what we get. Um, yeah, that's still a lot of damage here. Oh, I forgot because it's their powers. I already gave them two strength. 34. Uh, 32. That's not good. We can heal a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the only thing we can really do. Yeah, 22 incoming. This is getting tough. Power through. I should really stop playing powers, by the way. Um, so we do armaments. And then we can do a... I think close line probably more. Actually, this will give you weak and vulnerability. Okay. Hmm. Well, the trench is really useless. I think we're dead here, right? There's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have taken that uh, event that gave you um, the... Um, what do you call it? Bites, but also remove 30% of your max HP. Uh, we did get, um, how many? Five collectors. Um, and we got Mystery Machine for hitting so many question marks. We championed two out of six elites, which is not that great, but not bad either. But yeah, ultimately, I think this was... Um, we shouldn't have taken the bites. That would have made it much more feasible to win. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.